Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Massive Audio Eco 12s, hooking them up, getting them installed in my 2004 Chevy Tahoe. Hopefully they sound good. Hopefully they're loud enough for me. If not, then they're still better than what I got. I'm tired of waking up, going to work super early in the morning with no bass. I need bass in my life. This system isn't going to compete with the last system I had, but it's still, I got a pretty good deal on it. So. Let's see if they sound good, guys. I mean, a thousand watt amplifier, two swells, and a porter box. I got some polyfill. Worst case scenario, I'll throw a bunch of polyfill in it. But I think that's really only meant for if your subs are too big for the enclosure. But we'll try it anyway. So go ahead and stay with me. I'll show you guys how to install it. I've already got all my wiring ran from the last system I had in here. I had two thousand watt RMS subs in here. Um, they were mismatched, but they did 140.5, and I won a second place trophy with it. So hopefully these will at least do 135 uh, decibels. So let's go ahead and get to it, guys. I'm going to show you what we're working with here. We got these two 12s. Hello there. Ah. All right, so we got these two 12s. I've already opened one of them. I'll show you guys. It's not bad be hard to do this with one hand but I'll do my best so it's not a bad looking sub on the outside it's got a single voice coil on it small magnet uh, they say that the magnet doesn't actually matter so I guess we will see about that because that magnet is tiny but they say ego 12 so I mean I can't complain too much I got a good deal on it and then got the amplifier 1000 watt mono block it's a blade amplifier it says peak a thousand I honestly doubt that it does a thousand it probably does 500 half of that but I definitely got the wiring for it so we will see the massive audio 1000 watt amplifier blade series it says high performance audio my right, guys not a bad looking amplifier no, it does not come with a bass knob. You have your you have X your crossover off or you have your low. So you can turn your crossover off and set it by the stereo, which is probably what we'll end up doing. And have your gain, have your bass boost, try not to use that. Oh you do have a remote, so you can install a bass knob on there. You just gotta pay for it separate. That might be hard hooking the power. I've got zero gauge terminals, so that's going to be an issue. And I have to figure out something there, but we'll work something up. Hey guys, here's some of my wiring from my last setup. As you can see, zero gauge. That's how I have it with that on it. So what I'm probably going to have to do is actually take those off. Trim the wire back and cut the wires off of it and then tape it up and basically just make it work. So you got my ground, you got my power. The remote doesn't have to be that big, so I think we'll be okay there. This is where my old display was. I had an amp, amp, and then I have my capacitor right here. I've got my distribution block there, my ground goes there. I used to have a um uh, distrib a ground distribution block right here, but we're not going to need it. Uh, we're just going to use this right here. We're going to trim this wire back and make it to where it's tiny strands. It will work that way. It's not ideal. Got these are for my sub. These are for the mono block. This was for the four channel. So I think I will have to tape the dash apart and hook these back up. But other than that, um, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, I found this wire. This uh, it's, uh, old ground wire, four gauge. It should work perfect um, for power and for ground because I got the distribution block. I'm just gonna wrap one end in red tape and the other one I'll just leave it black. That way I know the difference. And then I'll just go ahead and hook up my distribution block right here again. And then, uh, yeah, that way I don't have to fight with the zero gauge wire going into a uh, four gauge amplifier. If it's four gauge, it's probably eight gauge. I don't know guys. 
definitely not very big so that's that's kind of disappointing for a thousand watt amplifier but hey you get what you pay for right so. what i am doing now is i'm going to go ahead and attach my distribution block back to the ground and uh that way i can run a four gauge wire off of the ground and to an amplifier and then also a four gauge wire from the power distribution block to the amplifier so i forgot that i need need allen wrenches I had it before guys I just had it bent back out of the way because it's supposed to be a zero gauge reducer so it's supposed to be zero gauge to four gauge re reducer but the company didn't count on people having true OFC wiring so it definitely wasn't so I still had to kind of modify the wire but it works when you do it that way so it's just not ideal but this little distribution block was only four bucks too. No, I'm not a professional. Everything I, I, I do, everything I've done, everything I've installed, which is a lot of stuff. I've done it all just by trial and error, learning. I've always had a talent for this stuff cars and that's just what I do. And I don't usually have issues with I blow up some stuff, I learn. But learning to trial and error to me is the best way to learn. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and hook the ground up to the amplifier. And no, this wire is not hot. The fuse is completely disconnected and my remote wire is disconnected as well. I'm gonna have to rerun a new remote wire. So um this is all dead right now. So I don't have to worry about that. Usually I would tell you guys, go ahead and unhook your um, battery or unhook your fuse from the battery and your remote wires and stuff. But this time I'm not going to because it's already unhooked.
guys got the power and ground hooked up. Now we need to run a remote wire. And then uh, the amp should be fully hooked up. And um, then we'll hook up the RCAs. And then we'll go ahead and get started on the box in the next video. All right, guys, yeah, super easy to run a remote wire in these trucks. There is a pink wire right here. I got heat shrink on it right now because I've already had a remote wire ran to it once before. All I'm going to do is go ahead and cut that. Uh, here's my old remote wire somewhere down here, right here. And just wire that back in, throw some more heat shrink on it, and uh, call it good. And, that, and that'll be done and hooked up. And then I'll just need to run from my distribution block to my amp. And then the amp should be fully hooked up, guys. Alright, that's on there, guys. Um, so, the remote is now hooked back up. I'm going to go ahead and run a wire for it and uh, get the amp fired up. Alright guys, that's the remote wire hooked up. Super simple, super easy. Um, go ahead and test out this amplifier, make sure it turns on. And then after that, we're gonna clean up our mess just a little, mount the amplifier solid, and um, make it look just a little nicer. Work with what you got, guys. Work with what you got. Some advice I can give you is uh, be a little bit more organized than I do. When I Anytime I work on my car audio system, I tear it all apart, throw everything everywhere, and then I clean it up 10 days later. First things first, I gotta put my fuse back in the main power wire, which I have no idea where my fuse is. Yeah, I do. You know what? I know, I know where it is, guys. Don't worry. Don't panic. I'm on it. Bet I'm on it. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't go like that. Oh. Boom. Oh, you know what? You know what, guys? I lied. I totally lied. It's not in there. Which means it may be in here. You guys close your eyes, there's stuff in my thing you should not see. Alright, it's hidden. Alright, right, boom. Found it. See, it's my setup. I've got the big three. I've got Sky High audio wiring. It's uh, true OFC wiring. How thick that is. So I've got my ground for my big three up there. Running all the way from there down here. Got my one of my power wires running from the alternator to the battery, and then I've got another ground wire going from here all the way down there, hooked to the frame. So, let's see, put that there. Let's uh, double check, make sure everything looks right. Okay, so we got the power wire, power wire, ground wire, remote wire, distribution block, and uh, yeah, everything looks okay, so. And we have life. See, I told you guys it would work. You're always doubting me. I don't know why you always doubt me. I know what I'm doing just made it all look right <laughs> uh, but it's okay guys work with what you got I'm not trying to put a lot of money into a, a cheap sound system so and once I upgrade believe me all this will be replaced 
with the actual true OFC wiring that I bought. That cost me around with everything I bought for the wiring and everything for the last system. I'm at a little over 500. The big three. The big three. The Sky High Audio wiring. And then my OFC speaker wiring, which, you know what, dude? Is right here. Still got some of that. Boom. Probably not enough wire, though. Hopefully, it is. No, it's not because. These are single voice coil, so I think I have to wire them separate, which I was not planning on. But it's okay, guys. I got I got wires everywhere. Let me see. Let me see my wires everywhere. Yeah. Boom. Spaghetti, boys. Spaghetti. All right, guys. One last thing before I wrap up this video. We're gonna go ahead and clean up my mess and mount the amplifier. Mount the amplifier with these and um, make it look a little neater and make sure it's safe. So that's my main priority is being safe. It may not look like it's safe, but it's definitely safe. Everything is solid. That's not going to shock me. It's just a ground wire. I'll probably go ahead and snip that though and um, get my cover back on and just make it look a little nicer, guys. That's all I can do for now. So let's go ahead and get to it. Wait, where do you guys want to sit? Do you want to sit here? Or do you want to sit over there? Here. You you guys tell me in the comments below where you want to sit. Because I'm always answering for you guys. Like, all the time. I answer for you. You guys never respond to me. Ever. I ask you a million questions in my videos. And you guys just all like... Giving me the silent treatment. It's not very nice, guys. All right, we're clean up the mess first, and then after we clean up the mess, then we will mount that. So, all right, put that down. Put this on backwards. Put it on backwards. But I really hope this video turns out good, guys, because uh. There's a lot of stuff to do in this video, like, I don't really know. I don't really know. It's gonna be a long video, guys. That's why I'm gonna have to make it into a series. Hope you guys are okay with that. Just think it'll help my channel grow. And the more my channel grows, the better my videos get. Because once my channel grows, I'll start being able to do cool stuff, like installing turbos on my Infinity. Not good. It's fine. Don't get any better more. Put it there and it goes here. I'll leave the part up in there. Yeah. I hate allergies. I never know which one to wear. Massive audio, you give me four screws knowing that I might lose one. It's not the best. Okay. Alright,
Alright guys, so that is all it. It's got a little plate, that's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this up guys. I don't necessarily need to, but I'm going to just make it look a little bit clean. Now this is just the initial setup. Eventually I'll probably reorganize it. And uh, this is the start of me trying to get my Tahoe back together with the sound system. This is uh, just how I'm gonna do it. And as soon as I get done having all this hooked up, I'm gonna post it for sale. I'm gonna post it for like $10 more than what I paid. And then, once I sell it, I'm gonna buy something else. I'm gonna sell it too. Cause that's what I do guys. That's what I like to do. I'm gonna go ahead and run this under, set them over. to put a screw in this distribution block straight into the carpet guys because that's how I like to do it. There we go. No that's not gonna move, that's not gonna move, that's not gonna move. None of it's gonna move guys so it's set up looking somewhat decent. Better than it did when I first threw it all in here. <laughs> and yes, this is electrical tape. So it's perfectly fine to use. Now I'm going to pick all my tools up. And move. Probably inside, guys, because I'm going to go ahead and use my drill to go ahead and start putting those subs in. But you guys will have to catch that in the next video. Right, guys, let's take a look at this real fast and then uh, go ahead and wrap up the video and get started making the next video for you guys. Looking pretty good. Looking a little empty. Look like I need something there and there. I'm thinking a fortune amplifier over there and I'm thinking some kind of equalizer right here and a capacitor there and TV screens there and there and there. <laughs> so all right guys so that's gonna be it for the video i'm gonna wrap it up now make sure you like and subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video where i get to installing the 12s and uh in the next video we'll go ahead and play them and uh I'm saving the polyfill for another time i'm gonna hook them up without the polyfill and then if i'm not liking the way it sounds we're gonna try to throw some polyfill in the box glue it down and um play it and see if it sounds any different but this is just temporary setup guys and it, it it's always going to be a temporary setup because like aim for the moon right it takes uh you gotta lay a brick at a time until you get there and i will see you guys next video